sorry, I'm reading the... My sister wrote a note in here that I didn't see until now. It says, to my GG girl, that's me. <laughs> you are stronger than you know, and I love you more than chocolate puppies, jellyfish, and Beyonce. Times a thousand. Love, Sammy. <sighs> I love that woman. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's Gianna and today I have something super super exciting for you. Today I'm basically going to be showing you my current witchy favorites during the month of late May, early June. And sometimes when I'm in the mood to just spoil myself, I don't know exactly what to get. So these videos actually help a lot. If you know anything about me or the videos I've previously had on my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with candles and candle magic. This portion is candles. This first one is a cult favorite woodwick candles. I actually make my own woodwick candles, but I do like buying the products that I make from other people because I feel like it's important to expand your horizons with energy. If that makes sense. So this one is Oatmeal Cookie by Woodwick, and this isn't a spell candle, but I also think it's important. You should really have a scent that gravitates you to the place that you imagine in your mind is your happy place, whatever that scent may be, whether it's an ocean breeze, whether it's a warm vanilla cookie, anything to really get you there, to be able to mass produce those desires in your head and feel like you already have them. It's very strange when people try to see what scents I like because I like the opposite of what I enjoy eating. But oatmeal cookie has been amazing. I just got this in the mail maybe three days ago and I've already burnt a good portion. It smells incredible. It has basically a strip of wood instead of like a hemp wick or a cotton wick. And this starts the burn here, goes throughout here, creates a nice crackling noise. It's almost like having a fireplace in your home wherever you are. Next baby is a prayer candle. I cannot say enough good things about prayer candles. This is the type of thing that if you don't want to spend time drawing on your candles, no matter the candle, even if you're carving on chime candles, if you don't want to take that time to do it because you're just on the run or you want something, you can come in the house and light and let somebody else watch it, prayer candles. This one is Jesus. Uh, they come with a bunch of different ones. I actually, the funny story is I ordered a bunch of guardian angel prayer candles and they gave me Jesus. I'm not mad. I mean, I'm still going to use it. He's a cool dude, he's my BFF, so I'm just gonna roll with it. You have your prayer over here, it tells you the burn time, and you have your figurine to look at. This is really helpful in witchy terms and just in life. I know that some people aren't super witchy, but some people are more religious and do believe in certain things with churches or with spirituality. So whatever category you're in, I think you could find a prayer candle that you feel comfortable with, from atheist to Jesus freak if you want to call it. We have a candle for you. They have tons and tons and tons. You could get archangels. Next one is my tried and true chime candle. I'm pretty sure in a video I've made, I've made one about the colors and how I've been switching to metallic colors. Now when it comes to manifestation, of course use the colors coordinated with the belief, whether it's red for love, pink for friendship, blue for reconciliation, whatever that may be use the candle for that, but I truly think for manifestation results, not only fast, but very potent in the way that you would like them to be, I use metallic candles for that. Gold, I'd use more money-based, and silver, I'd use more, I guess, material-based, like materialization of things. So of course, you know it's never gonna be a video from Gianna if I don't throw some oracle or tarot in here. These are my new oracle cards that I received for my birthday. These are all about the universe and have a lot on the moon. Let's see, I draw one right now, I won't look. Okay, beautiful. Oh my God, of course it's a butterfly. I'm about to get a butterfly tattoo because it to me resembles my angels and my guardian angels and protectors. We got the butterfly and here it says, I surrender to a power greater than me. Super cute on the go affirmations. If you're not doing an in-depth heavy reading, but you just wanna do one before you step out the door, I highly recommend oracle cards that are gentle and you know, tarot can really rip your soul apart sometimes, not even gonna sugarcoat that. But with affirmation cards or oracle, it's just a light refresher on what you need to work on or what you can look forward to in dark times. Really, really love this. Firstly, I got this from my sister. She had two of them, so I snagged it from her house. It's called Enlightenment. Aunt V's, I think? 
Orange Aura Spray. It has an affirmation on here that says, I am here now. So this Aura Spray is for your sacral chakra, and that's usually related to the sexual organs, sexual desires, traumas, and this really, really keeps you grounded in times of discomfort or feeling, I guess, a little out of your body. I really do love the scent on this. Now in here it contains essential oils of sweet orange and patchouli, amber and carnelian crystal infusion. I've talked about carnelian a lot because it is a sexual trauma healing crystal, also known as the courage stone, and is given to many singers or public speakers in order to give them that confidence boost. I've been working with carnelian and our sacral chakra this whole 2019. I'm very excited to see where this journey takes me, and I hope you have a crystal of the year as well. If not, see what crystal speaks to you and start working with it. It will truly uncover so many deep, deep, deep rooted things that could be issues or exciting things that you never knew about yourself all right I do have another oil after this but please don't think I'm trying to plug my stuff this is just what I've recently made that I've absolutely fallen in love with and I love the formulation I love everything there is about it this one is a rosemary and mint sea salt hair mist it smells super super good made by moi beautiful little spray bottle here that you could keep and reuse as you can imagine this is beautiful on the hair it creates a texture it creates that beach body look and adds the scent of rosemary and mint that not only helps grow your hair but it stimulates those follicles so it gives you a little bit of volume too this is my new mermaid body oil this creates a beautiful shine on the skin it's very summery, very date looky, or if you're coming out of the pool or going by the ocean you look like an actual mermaid I love these because I don't want to spend $40 on like, not going to throw any shade to anybody, but a body oil. I just don't when I could use my own pigments that are more natural and have essential oils attached that will give me benefits to my skin. Again, you can find these at the link below in the description, www.thewildrosegarden.com and you will find your girl. Now, combining these two, because this is essential oil based as well as this, this is an oil, the only oil that I will use other than mine. This is by Gypsy Goddess, you could find them on Etsy. This is their Divine Love Oil. This truly has made a difference and I've seen mass amounts of love produced in my life, not only with myself but others around me, when I wear it and when I don't wear it, since I started wearing it. I believe this has rose quartz and different types of herbs in here and resins. If you want to check out their Etsy, it is Gypsy Goddess on Etsy. Just look up their oils. You'll find them. They have sprays as well. I haven't tried the sprays, but I've seen them in witchy shops nearby. I'm super excited to be trying their things because everything has worked for me so well. So let me know if you try them. I just received this Monk or Mono Q. I'm not quite sure what it's called. It's an essential oil diffuser by your mouth. This has essence of fennel, thyme, and vanilla. This is their happy diffuser. It's not vape. So you're gonna suck this like a straw. Don't breathe it through your lungs. Hold it there and then immediately dispense it through your nose. I believe it has something to do with stimulating these cells in your brain that connect to what the essential oils are specifically supposed to do. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. Hashtag vapor. They have all different ones on the site. I've seen sleepy, I've seen happy, I've seen zen, invigoration, sensual, all these different oil diffusers, and they do make you feel the mood that they're given. I don't know if that's biased or a placebo effect. What I've been using out of this, I have seen a good difference when I do use it. I feel much more alive, awake, alert. Just like the light, I like how sleek it is. You carry it with you, you could smoke it, and then you could feel that relief, whether you have anxiety or depression, whatever you're going through, they have one of these for you, and I believe they sell them by the pack as well. So the last things I'm going to get into are books, but I'm gonna do that in a second because I have a few pieces that I'm gonna combine together as one from my local witchy shop keep saying it, keep saying it. I'm sorry if you can't go there, but maybe you can find one near you. I'm sure they'll carry some of the same things. This is a hag stone, holy stone, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of folklore behind this. I suggest you look up the hag stone, but from what I was told, there is a earth created hole made by the pressure of the water, of the air, of the rocks, and just everything combining to create that natural hole. 
said to be able to not only bring you healing properties, don't take my word for it, but from diseases and cold and prevent sicknesses, depression, anything really brutal. This is supposed to be good luck, especially if it's given to you by somebody. My personal woman that I go to has a little spot. She gets them from Ireland, Scotland, and as well, I think Israel. With the hole over here, I won't look through it right now. What's so cool about that is you're supposed to look through it on a full moon. This is said to create a astral dimension that takes you to the Fey land. So you could look up your, your things on fairies in the Fey. This is supposed to take you to that dimension. Be super careful because sometimes it's so hypnotic looking through it that it's hard to come back down. If you're one of those people that's easily ungrounded, I don't recommend it for you, but occasionally I look through the hole and I love to use it for protection regardless. If you're not one who likes to wear jewelry, especially like a stone, then I suggest you put it on your bed. Here I have, I think it's basalt, basalt, lava stone. This is also an essential oil diffuser. The holes created by the lava stone hold in the essential oil in the material, I guess, of the stone. This is good for grounding, for stability, for many, many different things, and you could put any essential oil in here. I usually make necklaces out of this and get a cord wrap. I don't know if you've ever seen a coil for crystals, but basically it's wire wrapped in a circle. You open it, put the crystal in, and it's kind of stuck in there like a shaker. This holds the scent and the crystal by you. So you can, if you're having an anxiety attack, I put lavender in there, I lift the necklace to my nose and kind of smell it. If I'm in a location where I can't really pull out a bottle of lavender oil, these are amazing. I've never learned about these stones before until it randomly gravitated towards me at my shop. And I picked it up and I was feeling it. I, I didn't know what it was, but I needed it. Then I ended up looking up all of its meanings and history and it just hit me that this was exactly what I needed at the right time. It's what the universe always does, but you know, we'll try to act surprised. Last for my beautiful material witchy items is my new pendulum. This is a copper pendulum. Normally they put, I believe, crystals at the end of pendulums. For those who don't know, I can totally make a video on pendulums, but you ask it yes and no questions, you create a bond with your pendulum, and spirit will guide you. Why I chose copper is because the electricity behind it. People wear copper bracelets or necklaces because the copper dispersed into the skin goes in and causes a painless effect. Also, you'll see wrapped around many crystals because it's supposed to give it an extra rejuvenation of power, just like you'd use quartz crystal. Copper is that amplifier, gets the energy going, gets the crystal moving and talking to you. I love this because it is so, so powerful, like any other pendulum I've ever seen and accurate. She's got her books. This book was in my goddess provisions. This is actually a planner, the magic of half year. It has a beautiful eye on it that is silver and gold as you move it. This is an astrology planner. What I thought was cool about this was when you look through the calendar, it'll show you where the planets are aimed towards, how it will really affect you. Because if you know your chart, you could see those and then be like, oh, okay, Saturn's here and Jupiter's here. It also shows you the moon phases and how, I think how, like emotion, emotion based, am I crazy? Weekly goals and intentions. I love that you can have a space to write for that. And planners, everybody uses planners really if you are in business or even school. I think it's nice to have your own personal one that you can jot down your thoughts, your dreams, your intentions, weekly goals, whatever it is you need. Put it in this cute little planner, be able to take it with you in a purse. Another beautiful birthday present was my Florence and the Machine Florence Walsh book. So this is called Useless Magic. It's her lyrics, her poetry, and her artwork. Throughout here, it's, it's, it's such a healing book to see a woman go through what she went through and write down her emotions, her raw feelings and words that sometimes don't make sense. Lyrics that are just her song lyrics, but broken down, you truly see how she felt in that time. She adds a picture with them, she adds Polaroids, poetry, huge poetry, just random <laughs> words and you think, why do I get that? But everything just begins to make sense and it breaks down your own existence. My sister gave this to me and said, this book and this book I'm about to show you have gotten her through some really tough times for me, 
getting a book and knowing how much it's helped a person and you see that person glowing and shining and it makes me want to indulge in the book even more it has so much more meaning to it now which is weird i even enjoy when people will mark in books and you go to the thrift store and get that book because you can finally tap into a different person's mindset and perspective and the way that you may read the book can be completely different from how somebody else will read the book but you're both reading the same book i know this sounds crazy and a lot of people hate when there's marks in their book but i love it and i treasure it as like a piece of history light on i'll read you a little search from this book is a butterfly, so I'll read to you. Oh, is that moving? I don't know. So I'll read to you the excerpt from the butterfly. The person you have become is not the person you will remain. Think of this as both a challenge and a gift. There's multiple things like this in here. This is one of my favorite books as of the moment. It's an easy read and it keeps my spirits high. If you're interested in a book like that but you hate reading, I totally recommend Florence's book or Light On. Pretty amazing for going through tough times and when you start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, these books get even better. Last item out of all of this is a book that I've read since forever but I just started picking it up again so I'm considering it a monthly favorite. Why I'm talking about it is because it's truly changed my relationships and experiences with people and myself. This is called Nonviolent Communications, A Language of Life. Create your life, your relationships, your world in harmony with your values. A lot of these books, I don't feel any knowledge from. I just feel a lot of words, but no power to them. Words that are meaningless. Uh, but here it speaks about how basically the things that we want, we don't speak for. Out of anything, out of all the things we want in the world, we never speak for the things that we truly want. At least people who don't enjoy communication or don't know how to communicate. This book will break down any type of person that is in your life that you have trouble communicating to. It will put that person in a category and show you how to break down your words so you come across as getting exactly what you need to get off your chest without making that person feel defensive. So then the communication cuts off. Instead, it lets it flow easily by wording things differently. I know this seems a little out there and like, I could just word it differently myself, but when you read this book, I guarantee you literally even read half of this book and you will see just everything broken down and they show dialogue of holding these workshops and seeing mothers and sons and family and friends and girlfriends and boyfriends communicating and then they stop them. They break it down, they reword and suddenly the person doesn't feel attacked and suddenly they know more about them in that three minutes than they have in 10 years of their life. I fully recommend this book. It's helping me with a lot of people in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back with more soon. As always, let me know what you want to see next, whether it's Instagram, DM, you could even email me, whatever you're into. All right, that's all for today. Love you so, 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 so much.